The Mississippi Wheelcats is a wheelchair basketball team for children with lower limb disabilities as sanctioned under the National Wheelchair Basketball Association. We have 11 team members. Um, we're hoping to grow so that we can split them up into varsity, which is 13 to 17, and then prep is from 12 and under. Did you have fun out there today? I did. What do you like about it? Um, just blocking people, getting get the ball. This has been a lifesaver for him. All of his friends are out playing soccer and baseball, and this gives him an opportunity to be athletic and compete as well. What do you like about blocking people? Um, like playing rough. Aiden has a congenital uh, muscular dystrophy, and he also has a um, carnitine deficiency, which is a metabolic disorder. I have a son, John Matthew Davis, who's nine years old. Um, his disability is blue rubber bleb nevus syndrome. Blue rubber syndrome causes masses all throughout John Matthew's body. Um, they shrink and they swell. Some days he feels great. Other days he can't. He, he's in the wheelchair. He can't walk. He can't move his arm. He can't do certain things. Have you ever played basketball before, or is this your first time? This is my first time. Um, you didn't know you could do that in this chair, did you? It's kind of cool to be out there doing it. Yes, sir. I have seen a whole new child since John Matthew started wheelchair basketball. Within the first practice of coming to wheelchair basketball, he was a completely different child. He had enthusiasm about the chair and he felt accepted and he felt like he belonged and he's no longer ashamed of his chair. He's proud that he's able to um, overcome. To watch these children come in, be very timid, um, a little afraid to try something different, and then to see them just blossom the next time we see them, the next game, all of a sudden they're taking shots, they're going a little bit faster, they're using their arms. A lot of the parents were a little concerned, well, they don't, you know, he doesn't like to push himself in his wheelchair. After being at one game, oh yeah, the mamas don't have to push anymore. So it's just really great on every level to see them just grow and blossom to, to be the best that they can be. Kids with disabilities, you know, they're very special to me. Uh, I think they have such a great potential to, to be something, all that they can be, and whatever I can do to support them, I'm here for it. One, two, three. Yeah! Just the fact that they've got teammates to play with and, and the game and, and you, just to see their enthusiasm out there is just touches your heart. Right now we're practicing about once a month, um, but during the summer after basketball season is over, we're going to keep that just to keep the team together. Jonathan, he's a seventh grader. He's He was diagnosed with fibrous dysplasia, which is a rare bone disease. Um, it's not a brittle bone disease, but it's it's kind of a strange, gristly bone disease. So he's he's got rods in his legs and plates. Um, he's had quite a few surgeries, but uh, he's he's excited to, to play basketball. When we lived in, in Nashville, we we just looked up different events for him to get involved with. I mean, same thing that these parents are doing, trying to find something. And uh, when he started playing, it was like a light switch went off. So when we moved here, we kind of realized there wasn't anything here. And then, but having that experience in Nashville, we thought if we could just maybe try to start something. It's wonderful that they moved down here from Tennessee because this is something we've always needed. There's stuff for adults, there's nothing for kids, and we need stuff for kids. It's wonderful to see them out here having fun. A normal activity with their peers, it's them on their own. It's completely, you know, their, best, their games. Our number six, he is A.J. I'm here with my grandson, Aurelius A.J. Alexander number six and we are so proud to be part of the Mississippi Wheelcat. AJ was diagnosed with the Dandy Walker syndrome and quadriplegic cerebral palsy and spina bifida. This motivates him. He, We know that he can do anything anybody else can do. Number seven is Ron Williams. At first he was a little depressed, like a little down because he was a star football player before his accident. So after his accident, he kind of didn't, like, where's the light in this? You know, I can't do anything. So this kind of gave him uh, a sensation, you know, like, okay, I can do something again. You know, and he's excited about it. It really helped his momentum. Kenta has been in the wheelchair since um, May 2012. He's always been competitive. He was uh, the MVP of his baseball team. His calling is sports. It runs through his veins. <laughs> I mean, that's all he knows. 
And when he got when he, he got hit, nothing changed. And his dad did everything he could to find, you know, outlets for him. And God sent Miss Lisa. <laughs> And he's been, like I said, he's been on that team ever since. Being, you know, around other parents who have kids like KJ, it's, it's a blessing also because, you know, no one understands, you know, if you, you have a kid who can walk, no one can understand you like somebody, you know, like a parent who has a kid who can't walk. Well, right now we're just doing the old-fashioned knock on the doors and ask for money. But um, we do have a Facebook page. It's a donate button on the Facebook page that goes to directly to us, which is the um, Mace Foundation, which is Metro Area Community Empowerment. It is a nonprofit, uh, 501c3. That's what's so wonderful about the Mace Foundation. They really wanted to make sure that they didn't want anybody to have an excuse not to participate. So no matter what income bracket you're in, your child can play with absolutely no worries about any funding. We provide the chairs, the uniforms, we pay for the gas, the hotel rooms, um, the tournament fees, food, everything that they need. One, two, three. We got it! All right.